Okay, so today we're going to be reviewing rounding. This is something that we already learned in third grade. Um, so we're just going to go over um, what we should already know. Okay, so let's say that I have a number line. This number line goes from 0 to 10. The number exactly in the middle of 0 and 10 is 5. Okay? So if you remember the rule for rounding, if it's 0 to 4, it stays on the floor. In other words, if you have a number in between 0 and 4, it's going to round down to the ground, okay? Now if you have a number that's between 5 and 9, it climbs up the vine. 5 to 9 climbs up the vine, so it's going to go higher. It's going to go up, okay? Now let's say that we're at an amusement park and we're going to ride a roller coaster, okay? My number line kind of looks like a mountain. And right there in the middle, I have that number five. Okay, so we have zero, one, two, three, four that are climbing up. Now, what if I have been riding in this roller coaster <clears throat> and for some reason I something happens okay and they stop pushing me forward what's going to happen if I am in this I'm going to fall which way right I'm going to fall back down I'm going to come back down to the ground if something goes wrong. All right, now, if I have made it to the top of the mountain, what is science going to make happen? If I am in the cart, let's say now my cart, I'm riding in my little car, made it to the top of the mountain. What's gonna happen now? I've been pushed all the way to the top, so now I'm going to, I'm going to keep going, right? I'm going to keep going. So, the rule is 0 to 4, the number's going to stay the same. 5 and higher, 5 to 9, it's going to get bigger or climb up the vine. Let's practice a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and practice rounding. We're gonna use this mountain model. This first one says round 27 to the nearest 10. Okay, so I need to be careful that I'm rounding to the tens place. So I'm gonna go ahead and underline the tens place, which in this number is 20. And then I'm going to use the number immediately to the right to make my decision. So this seven is going to be what helps me decide whether the two stays the same or whether it moves up to 30. Okay, so here is 27. We have 26, 27, 28, 29. Is 27 closer to 20 or is it closer to 30? Right, it's closer to 30. All right, let's do the next one. It says 71 to the nearest 10. I'm going to underline my 10 and I'm going to be looking at the ones place immediately to the right. So that number one. So if I have 70 or 80 to choose from, and this is 71, clearly it's closer to 70 than it is to 80. Okay, 
Now we're rounding to the hundreds. This says 430 to the nearest hundred. I'm going to underline the hundreds place. And this time I'm going to be using the tens place to make my decision. So we're going to use the three to decide, is it closer to 400 or 500? So we'll skip count by tens. This is 4, 10, 4, 20, 4, 30, 4, 40, 4, 50, and so on. Okay, so 430 is my number. It's right there that would go back down. So 420 is closer to 400 than it is to 500. So we're going to round down to 400. Okay, how about 877 to the nearest hundred? Underline the hundreds place. Make my decision based on the tens place. In this number it's a seven. So it's in between 800 or 900, and I have 877. Okay, so we know this is 850, so this will be 860, 870, 880. So my number is going to be right around there, and it will continue down the hill to the seven, I'm sorry, to the 900s place. It would round up because 7 is closer to 10 than it is to 0. So 877 rounds up to 900. Two more. We have 680 rounded to the nearest thousand. Okay, so this one's the thousands place. I'm going to underline the thousands place. I'll be making my decision based on the hundreds place, which is immediately to the right. So it's it closer to 6,000 or 7,000. All right in the middle is 6,500. Then we have 6,600, 6,700, 6,800, 6,900 my dots right there. It's closer to right 7,000 than it is to 6,000. Good. Okay, last one. We have 2,375 and we're rounding it to the nearest thousand. Underline the thousands place. I'm making my decision based on the hundreds place, which is immediately to the right. All right, so we have 2,000 or 3,000. Up here we have 2,500, 2,100. All right, so my dot needs to go right about there. And that would roll back down to 2,000 because 3 is closer to 0 than it is to 10.